everyone, it's Janet here and welcome back to part two of my single mum and toddler speed build. If you haven't watched part one, please go do and watch that um, first because I kind of explain uh, the story behind the house and kind of why it's so weird and long looking. Um, so yeah, please do go and watch part one if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, so as I said at the end of uh, the last video, we're going to be finishing off the upstairs decoration today and doing the landscaping. Um, so as you can see, I'm just kind of finishing off the master bedroom at the moment. I really wanted to put a mirror on this desk, um, but unfortunately uh, none of the mirrors that I have are kind of freestanding small desk mirrors. Um, I don't know if there are other, uh, if there are kind of smaller mirrors in other packs. I guess there probably are. I don't actually have that many packs. Um, the only packs I have at the moment are Seasons, uh, Cats and Dogs, Island Living and Vampires. Um, so perhaps if I had all the other packs I would have found the mirror I was looking for. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I couldn't put a mirror on here because they didn't size down properly. Um, so I ended up just putting some makeup, some nail varnish and a couple of plants on it. Um, as I said in the last video, um, I wanted to keep the decoration fairly minimal in this build um, because I imagine the sim that lives here with her toddler uh, doesn't have a huge amount of money so there's not going to be loads and loads of decoration about um, and also I envisage it as a rental property as well. Uh, even though we obviously don't have rental houses currently, but that's kind of what I imagined. So yeah, this bedroom, uh, well the whole house is kind of based off my house, as I did mention last time. Um, so it's really funny, like, especially with the screenshots at the end. Uh, the kitchen in particular is basically exactly like my actual kitchen. Um, so yeah, I got a real kick out of seeing it um, at the end, kind of like seeing my own house uh, brought to life. Uh, but yeah, so here we are doing the ensuite bathroom. It has a pretty similar layout to the bathroom downstairs. Um, once again, using the cabinets, although I think I used different cabinets in this one um, from the one downstairs, just to give it a bit more of a lived in feel. Now we're on to the toddler bedroom. Um, so you'll see I mess around with these rugs quite a lot. Um, I couldn't, it's actually quite a big space in this room. Um, and that little rug I had with the uh, dinosaur and the elephant, which is so cute and I've never used it before and I absolutely love it. Um, but unfortunately it's not quite big enough for this space and you'll see in a few minutes I do size it up, um, but then it kind of looks a bit stretched almost, it, it doesn't look quite right. Um, so I believe I do end up putting it over by the bookshelf and put a different rug um, over by the bed. Um, but I actually really, really love this room. It's really, really sweet. I love those wall decals. I think they're super, super cute. Um, and the little penguin wallpaper is absolutely adorable, which I don't think I've used before either. Um, previously, I'm kind of quite lazy with kid bedrooms. I don't often decorate them very well. And I think that's because I'm usually doing some like knockoff version of the 100 baby challenge and like never have enough money to do it. Uh, but you just saw then I was going to put those resized um, couple of paintings on the top of the um, sort of cabinet there. So those paintings are supposed to be the ones that prop up against the wall um, and I love them but the problem is when you resize them is they look right against the wall but the shadow doesn't size down. Um, and the last time I used them like that, they were against a black wall and I didn't actually notice. So I went to do it again thinking, oh yeah, this is going to be great. And then there's that huge massive shadow that doesn't actually make any sense for it to be there at all. So I kind of gave up on that. We've now moved on to the outside of the house. Um, and you'll see me taking ages messing around um, with what kind of brick to use or what kind of external... Um, kind of wallpaper I guess <laughs> to use um, and I, I don't know why but I really don't get on with the bricks in The Sims again I don't know if there's maybe better ones in other packs or whether I'm just being weirdly picky about it um, but they always they always just look kind of off to me 
Um, you'll see here I accidentally put that half sliding, half brick upstairs as well. I do get rid of that, don't worry. Um, but yeah, the bricks always kind of look a bit off. Um, I think it's because even though in real life you obviously have like two story homes where it's all bricks, for some reason in The Sims I just think it looks like quite a lot, <laughs> kind of a bit like overwhelming. Whereas the sliding kind of doesn't look as much. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I ended up going for the sliding which doesn't really fit with my plan of it being a terraced home because I don't think I've ever seen a terraced home that isn't like brick. Um, but you know, seeing as we can't actually have it be a proper terraced home anyway, I figured it doesn't really matter that much. So yeah, I went for that one instead. I'm now decorating the front garden, uh, which again is inspired by my very own garden, although I have to say that the, uh, the plants are much nicer in this garden, uh, in my own garden. They're basically weeds. Uh, because I don't have any gardening equipment and it's my job to look after the garden according to the lease that I have um, but no one's told me off about it yet so you know this one looks a bit better than mine does um, but I just figured I'd put some plants underneath the window there um, and then I put a couple of more um, over on the left hand side which did like would we have terraced houses would be kind of linking to the next garden along um, but as I've said, we don't, so we have to make do. Uh, landscaping is not my forte. I mean, <laughs> nothing is my forte, to be quite honest, but landscaping definitely is not my forte. Um, you'll see kind of at the end, the landscaping I do is all quite minimal. Um, it's something I really want to work on. I want to try a bit more landscaping, try and get a little bit better. It's one of those things, even more so than usual decorating, when I see it in my head, it just I just can't get it to come out how I imagine it, uh, which makes me really sad. Uh, but yeah, this fence here, you'll see me kind of messing around with it. It was really winding me up that it was doing that kind of um, middle panel, but only on two sides. I assume it's because the third side wasn't long enough to do it. Um, but it just looked so weird. It looked like there should be a gate there. I don't know. I don't know if I was doing something wrong. If anyone knows what that was about and how to fix it, um, please do tell me because I wanted to have the high garden fence and make it like a private garden. Um, but it just annoyed me too much. It looked too weird that I couldn't put up with it basically. So I changed it to the same uh, picket fence that we had in the front garden. You'll see I go over this kind of long uh, flower bed quite a lot. It it never quite turned out how I wanted it to. I wanted to have some higher plants in there, like taller plants in there as well. Um, but I just couldn't get anything to look right without it looking kind of weirdly overcrowded. Um, so again, that's something I need to work on. I think I do put the, they're called like mixed wildflowers or something. Um, I do put them there later, um, but yeah, it just, it didn't turn out quite right. Um, and then onto this patio space, which again, you'll see me going over and over and over. This second part is me basically messing around with the landscaping and it taking a ridiculously long amount of time for me to basically not make any changes. Um, so what I was trying to do was kind of a half grass half patio space. Um, I was originally going to put these monkey bars down and then remembered that actually they have a toddler, they can't yet use the monkey bars, uh, but as you can see there is enough space for them. So when the toddler grows up you can always um, move out that toddler paddling pool and put the uh, monkey bars in instead. I've also put these planters down because um, I figured there's not a huge amount of skill building objects in the build because of the story I've got for it. It doesn't really make sense for there to be a lot. Uh, so there is the um, easel in the dining room um, and then obviously she's got the computer as well. Um, but then I figured it'd be nice for her to have some kind of outdoor stuff. Um, I imagine the family kind of does go to the park quite a lot. They do a lot of kind of outdoor play um, because it's like a bit cheaper and things like that. Um, and I think that she'd be really keen to kind of instill a love of the outdoors in her toddler. 
um, and you know maybe make a little bit of extra money on the side um, growing uh, either sort of fruit and vegetables or flowers um, there is enough space I think on the patio if you redid it slightly that you could put the um, flower arranging table if you wanted um, and that could be another way for her to get a few skills and also maybe get a bit of um, extra money as well. Uh, in terms of the trees, I only put this one tree in here um, because it's, again, trees I find really, really hard to use. I don't know how to put them in the build. I don't know where to put them. It's something I really need to work on because when I just kind of play for fun, well, not that this isn't fun, but when I play for fun, I never really bother because I'm very lazy. Um, so I do need to kind of try a little bit harder and improve with it. This is me putting various taller plants in that flower bed and then changing my mind and removing all of them, as I said. And it does end up with that kind of lower um, level of plants, sort of shorter plants. I do take that um, grass reed thing out in a couple of minutes as well. Um, but there is a dining space outside, so I like the idea of them coming out and having food um, outside in the warmer months, in the summer and things. I think that'd be really cute. And then, yeah, we are pretty much coming to the end now. Um, you just see me going along with all these flowers, the tall wildflowers, whatever they're called, as I said, um, putting them all along. I wanted it to look a little bit messy, but also kind of looked after as well. Um, so not sort of super refined, but also, you know, cute and kind of homely, because um, it is always nice to have like a nice little garden. And then, yeah, the screenshots are coming up now, so I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoy this build. Uh, please do follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Honestly, I cannot get over how much that kitchen looks like my own. I absolutely love it. Uh, this house is on the gallery if you want to download it. My ID is in the description below, along with my Instagram and my Twitter. Please subscribe and I'll see you all soon.